Bon Natale. Check out our Global Studies Christmas tree this year. We designed it with a chef hat on top, pizza slices, and some other hidden yummy foods from around the country. Italians kick off the Christmas season and start decorating on the day of the Immaculate Conception, December 8th. In other countries, Thanksgiving and sometimes even Halloween signals the start of the Christmas season. In Italy, though, Christmas officially kicks off with the day of the Immaculate Conception of Mary on December 8th. This is when decorations go up, both on the streets and inside Italian homes, and when some Christmas markets start. Decorations and huge Christmas trees can be found in main piazzas, like in front of the Colosseum or in Milan's Piazza Domo, and Babbo Natale, Father Christmas, the Italian version of Santa Claus, spreads his holiday cheer. Different cities in Italy celebrate in different ways. Each year, Venetians in the city of Venice dress as Santa and have a regatta parade down the Grand Canal. Can you imagine seeing so many Santas in boats? Along with the fancy lights, wreaths and trees, presepi, or nativity scenes, are displayed in many churches and piazzas. Crafting these ornate works of art by hand remains an artisanal tradition in many parts of the country. If you want to go to the source, you head to Naples. The southern Italian city is world famous for their handmade presepi. It still has whole streets with one workshop after another devoted to just making these beautiful nativity scenes. Starting on December the 8th, these wonderful Christmas markets pop up throughout the country. Here are a few of the Christmas markets that you might see. This one is in Murano. Wooden advent cottages, decorated Christmas trees, and nativity scenes with life-size figures all add up to the charm of this little Christmas village. Wrap up and enjoy a horse-drawn carriage and visit from Father Christmas. This is the time of year where Italian families do their Christmas shopping as well as taste delicious sweets and treats of the season. What a cool way to kick off the holiday spirit at one of these Christmas markets. This Christmas market is in Piazza Santa Croce in Florence. At this Christmas market, there are over 50 wooden huts and stalls selling Italian and German delicacies, decorations, and handicrafts. They fill one of the most beautiful squares in the city, Santa Croce. Children can also enjoy a ride on a traditional carousel. Finally, let's take a look at the Christmas market in Milan. It is huge! Milan is home to several Christmas markets through the festive season, but Obeige Obeige, how beautiful, how beautiful, is one of the longest running dating back to at least 1510. Originally, a time uh, locals used to pay homage to the patron saint, nowadays this beautiful market bustles with activity as locals and tourists meander around the 350 plus stalls selling handicrafts, antiques, clothing, toys, Christmas gifts, and plenty of sweets, uh, treats, and festive foods. This would be like us visiting somewhere like Disney Springs or going to the mall to do a little Christmas shopping. Let's talk about food. To prepare for Christmas Day, Italians avoid eating meat on Christmas Eve. Traditionally, this is a day that fish is eaten instead. Did you know that there is something called the Feast of the Seven Fishes? Well, this tradition connects back to the long-standing Italian tradition of Vigilia, a day of fasting that ends with a meal that excludes any meat and dairy. So they do not eat any meat 
and no dairy. After a full day of fasting on Christmas Eve, the night of December 24th becomes an endless feast of fish and pasta to fill up their hungry bellies. And finally, Christmas Day has arrived. It is time to feast. After the light Christmas Eve dinner, on Christmas Day, Italians invite their family and friends for a large lunch that usually goes on all day. Many save up to have the most lavish celebration possible, serving up traditional dishes like pasta in brodo, pasta in broth, roasts, and traditional desserts like panettone. Strufoli is another popular dessert for Italian families. If you look in this week's choices, there is a recipe to make a delicious strufoli. Sometimes they are made in the shape of a wreath, sometimes in a small tree like the one on this page. Well, Christmas isn't over yet in Italy. Like I said, the season goes on a long time. The official end of Christmas season isn't until January 6th, the day of the Epiphany, and the 12th day of Christmas. On the eve of the Epiphany, families usually prepare a large dinner to mark the end of the holiday season. Children are given candy or coal usually made of black sugar, depending on if they were naughty or nice. After January 6th, you will see Christmas markets and decorations start to come down. This is when Bufana visits children in Italy. So what exactly is the legend of Bufana? Well, Christian legend has it that Bafana was approached by the three wise men a few days before the birth of Jesus. They asked for directions to where he was as they had seen a bright star in the sky above, but she said she did not know. She provided them with shelter for the night as she was considered to be the best housekeeper in all of the village. She had the most pleasant home and took very good care of it. The three wise men invited her to join them on the journey to find the baby Jesus, but she declined, stating that she was much too busy with her housework. Later, Bafana had a change of heart, and she tried to search out, out the astrologers and Jesus. That night, she was not able to find them. And so, to this day, La Bafana is searching for the little baby. She leaves all the good children toys and candies or fruit, while the bad children get coal, onions, or garlic. To celebrate in popular folklore, Bavana visits the children on the eve of the Feast of Epiphany to fill their socks with candy and presents if they're good, or a lump of coal or dark candy if they're bad. In many poorer parts of Italy, and in particular rural Sicily, a stick in a stocking was placed instead of coal. Being a good housekeeper, many say that she will sweep the floor before she leaves. To some, the sweeping meant that they were sweeping away the problems of the previous year. The child's family typically leaves out a small glass of wine and a plate with a little bit of food to give to Bafana for her journey.